Now, Wolfie, you wanted a cleaning video, and the only thing I can think about for giving you a cleaning video is to let you watch this wonderful person who is cleaning. I'm not cleaning. I'm moving everything so the plumber can fix the walls. But since it's now moved, I will eventually have to come back and do some of that. But see, this whole thing, well, it's just a disaster. Everything's falling off. It's a big cascading pile. If I take one book out of the middle, the whole thing's going to fall on my head. It's not good. It's not safe. It doesn't make sense. Nope. Can't organize it. Can't wrap my head around it. So, what we need to do is measure the section, put in shelves with actual sides. Sides. We need to build. Hey there. A wave. Say hello to all my people. <laughs> you could throw snowballs at them if you want. What? Am I back? Or are we. You are back. Yes, you are back. So, we need real shelves with real sides and real attachments. And the whole so, you want a real bookcase that's there. That. And this should be moved and it should go all the way to the ground. And that then should continue around those windows as well and around that window. And then all the books in the house could be in one spot religion, crafts, so. More crafts, more blah, crafts, blah, more crafts, blah, more crafts, your more crafts. Car, health, you've got a ton of health books extra things you don't need to know about. Self-help books we could really donate to somebody that would never know. Yeah. Mythology book I can take back to my husband. The Great Barrier Reef. Some of these books you could easily donate to people who would want to read them. Like The Great Barrier Reef, I'm sure there's a lot of teenagers out there that would be thrilled about that book. And here it's just... It's in my library. It is. It's, well, in a picture library, Okay, well, let's fix the library. This sounds awesome. Should we get some boxes and put things in boxes according to type? Right now, I'm just moving this so the corner. Can you get behind it? So he can hey, Abe, thing. give a hand to this lady. So I can have a shower. Woohoo! Give the lady a hand, Abe. Eh? That was hard work, eh? Man, it's a good thing you were here. Thanks, Dave. Ace been making pottery. I'll show you later. Yeah, he's going to do that. This is not cool. My little girl came home. She's 34. I'm so glad she's here. Look at what I'm doing. I'm filming Tell her. Me. That's right. <laughs> Should have been able. Should have showed it to her when she was seven and said, "See, this is what you're going to do one day." <laughs> yeah, she never believed you. Never. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely wet. These are the plumbers. Oh, it's wet there. Yeah, there's a leak. That's why he's trying to. Oh. It is wet. Oh, good thing this floor is getting replaced too. Very wet. Any broom, any broom, that is a broom. Any broom will do. Hey, look, a mask under the floor. Look at this, she's got it for you. She's moved my weaving cabinet. Oh, Craig, you got your knife. And away they go. Oh, you can lift that top bottom shelf off there. It's just sitting there. Craig, do you want to lift that shelf up there? I don't believe in nailing them on, you know. Oh, yes. they can't Craig, take them. You are Craig. This yes. is so Craig, is and the other one's Dale. Dale, with that envelope. The man, and the other man. Are you an apprentice? Um, no, I'm doing just work in the carpentry stuff at Service Master, and I'm here with Dale. I suppose you're curious about the situation there. Well, you see, the problem was is that they had to be pushed forward enough that they would actually come out into the other room. And so that's why all those things are there. But if you're going to put in your peck pipe, <laughs> no. I think, I think once I get this opened up, I'm hoping just to take off the fitting that's broke and put a new fitting in it. Okay. That's kind of the plan. 
Like I say, Craig, you cut her from this stud here yep. up about, oh, I don't know, 10 inches or so, back over. Make it as square as you can. Yeah, make it easy for her to patch. Well, I might be daring this patching it anyways. Oh, yeah, guys. that's right. Whatever I open just up, they got to fix. Make a big mess. That's okay. Just, hey, kick, just kick it out. Kick yeah. it in. <laughs> when you're working there, though, can you get that so that the shower will, like the shower knob is supposed to be further out into the room there? I can see what I do, but the way that pipes are, I don't think I'm going to All see right. Much. I like your suspenders. These are definitely a plumber's aid to good, to good behavior. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Definitely have to have them, believe me. That's right. <laughs> yeah. They have that big man, um, tall man store and long shirts and all that. Yeah. Are they helpful? Yeah. I, I have a hard time here finding the tall man shirts. Oh, really? But I have no trouble in the States finding them. Oh, okay. I, Maybe they grow them taller down there. Well, they grow them taller and fatter. <laughs> <laughs> God, some of the guys I know in the States. Fatter and Canadians, eh? Oh, That's pretty cool. they're, they're heart attack waiting for a place to happen, some of them. Yeah. Oh, they're huge. Yep. Yep. Epidemic. Yep. Yeah, I find in the States with J.C. Penney's, you can get, I get shirts that go put near to my knees. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's what every plumber needs, have a shirt ben right mm -hmm. beneath his knees, up over his knees in his pants. <laughs> Look at this nice square job he's doing. It's not going to matter when they... Well, I like to cut that off right about four feet when they do it. Two, I think it might go two, but sometimes it go four. Yeah, it's at least one. See the just... back of that lovely elbow? I wonder why that leaked. That's, remember I tell you how they blow the back of the dude? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's the head. Yeah. Head should be right above your shoulders. Look at that! It just burst it right out. That's amazing. That's just the coolest thing ever. I'm so glad to learn all these things, Willa. Mm -hmm. Well, you saw it here last, and you know what? If you go away in the winter and you don't put your heat on high enough, this could happen to you. Yes, you can do this at home. Results may differ. You want to see our awesome fan? Hey, Willem, turn off the fan so he can see it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, these guys are getting paid to do what you're doing. Yeah. All right. Now, Craig, let's see what I can do with this animal. Look at that. Look how his shirt is all completely covered. Isn't that amazing? Well, you know, that's what we know about plumbers. That's, that's that the first famous. thing you hear about a plumber. Yep. That we're famous for. It. Also give oh, us water. Here's your life savings. This is wonderful. Here's your life savings. Our life savings? What'd you get? A nickel? American American too. American nickel or penny? <laughs> nickel. A pinnacle. Hey, what about that board under it? Is that rotten? Good grief. It's a good thing you're here and not me just trying to fix this. I'd never find all these holes. Well, I'm hoping we find them all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do when we get this up tonight, today, if I can get it all up and running, that there's no leaks, what I want you to do tonight, <laughs> I'll leave the water on, but when you are going to bed tonight, I want you to shut that main valve off. Okay. That... In case there's a fitting somewhere that's maybe still together, but with the pressure, it could blow apart somewhere. And okay. in the middle of the night, you really don't want to wake up to that. Sound. I already did that. That's why everybody's getting their floors replaced. Yeah. So then in the morning, you can turn it back on. Just so we're it, awake so, while something happens. If anything happens. Yeah, you can get to it and shut it off. But when, at least for a day or so, like tonight would be the main one that I would. Okay, that's fine. But again, we may not be 100% done today either. All right. So I'm sure hoping I'm going to go to Pembroke tomorrow morning. So.
You know, I put those fittings together. I did a pretty good job. Hey, look how quick he took it off. All that hard work putting it on. <laughs> Little heat. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, can you come around the other side of me here? Okay. I'm going to shut this off for a minute. Get, let me get you to there we are. Maybe I can just, just kind of pinch your them players up to the Yeah, I gotta like try. I gotta. I gotta heat that, and I gotta get that tinning pulled off. Okay. I'll try not to burn you too when I'm at it. Collateral damage. Wow. Well, that <coughs> pretty swift of you. So that last pipe, it's kind of white on the end, but that's okay. You got two more pipes coming down. Oh, I see. That's the one that's supposed to be there. That's why it's yep. white. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> you should bring your pillow with you, so you wouldn't have to put your head on the floor. Mm. Sorry, what is it? Yeah, okay, but I'm filming right now, and filming is of the utmost importance, don't you think? It's not every day I get to have something to film. Write down the number for me and I can call it. So the idea there, you make it all shiny. Yeah, we gotta okay. get them clean of them. Never solder. Eh? I was using new pipe when I was doing it. Yeah. Well, even the new pipe, you're supposed to sand it. Oh yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I probably did. Plus the fittings. Because it worked. Yeah. We did a good job. Fifty-seven connections, eh? Wow. I was replacing plastic pipe, I think which was going in every direction under the sun. Can you shove the, hold them over a little bit, Kurt? Yeah. Don't reef on them, though. Just... Reef on them. That's a good word. To reef on something is to pull it real hard, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you put a little hole in the top of your flux container. Yep. Your beat's taking off the lid. Yep. I'm never going away in the winter again. Ever. No matter how tempting it is. Unless I leave my husband at home. <laughs>
On that one, you know, the other one a little bit. Oh, that's a nice automatic light. alarm's going to go off. No doubt. 20 of them. So you had, it wasn't sanded enough? Is that the problem? Well, there's just a solder that's on it. Can you just blow torch it and get the solder to slide well, off? I don't want to burn the pipe. Once I burn the pipe, that can really be. You can burn the pipe? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Never a dull moment. No. You're not lying in plaster and on a mucky ground. Slides around, eh? Yeah. You know, I used to do stained glass, and when I was doing stained glass, I realized that, man, if I could do this with stained glass, I could do it with copper pipe. Yeah. Oh, now we're really going to get the smoke on again. What are you doing now? Drawing the heat out of it. Drawing the heat out of it. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, the things I don't know, you could fill a book. There somewhere, Buster. And then something down there too. Is the water still on? No. Oh, this is after the water's off. Well, it's just going to be in the walls and that, so it's got to be somewhere. 
Where is this coming from? Shall we rip down this ceiling? Well, we're going to have to open the ceiling up for sure. Do you remember... Is there any pipes running this wall going upstairs? I don't know. I didn't do that. I don't think so, though. I think they go up behind this... up along the stairs. Everything comes up from below. But then again, I'm not really sure. Right here, if you look, this is the tub right there. Okay. And then the toilet pipe comes down back in the back corner in there. Because you can't really get in there. Okay. So that's where, that's the bathroom up there. Okay, so then the sink will be over here somewhere. I guess just in the next room. Right here. <laughs> Up where it's a like, I don't know if it's going straight up. Is there an outside tap out here by your It's over here. But the hot and cold, they're over there and they come under the floor. And then they go outside right through there. I guess you'd like me to move some things. Or you're heavy duty movers, I suppose. Well, I gotta go check you behind that sink first to see what you see. my family. we got some new windows here. This window is going to replace that one. It's going to come out further and down further. <sighs> this one is going to go over here. I'm going to get a couple of them in that wall. Close this door. must be coming up above under this floor here because I believe everything came up in the wall on the beside the bathtub. Doesn't look to be. No? No. Three feet there. Is right here. That's part of it. You want it when you get my ladder for you? Sure. Four foot ladder. Uh, 
Well, that comes down mighty easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's awfully wet. There's no end to how many leaks there were. We lost. That's amazing, and we drained the pipes, you know. Guess we didn't drain them right. That's a nice looking ladder. Yeah. Is it aluminum or plastic? No, fiberglass. Fiberglass, eh? Oh, lots of water. It was broken up under the sink upstairs as well. Well, it's under the floor somewhere. Not a lot of accumulation points or something.
see up there from there. I did look. See if I can see. We may end up cutting more of it across here. Yeah. If it's wet up there to the left. Yeah. I'm glad you found it. Otherwise, that would have all gotten rotten and moldy. Uh, found it there, huh? I guess you still haven't found the break, though, eh? Really? Haven't found where it's broken, mm -hmm. eh? Okay. Above the light, eh? Oh, I see where they went. Yeah. Pipes did come up along the stairs, but I guess they went across the bathroom ceiling. Spraying this fountain. I don't know. The pipes are coming this way, but I don't know where they're going. Hmm. I might go across and up to that. Well, that's interesting. Well, there did used to be a washer dryer in there, you know, so I guess there must have been pipes in there. I don't know. I'm I'm not a very good memory person. Well, if there was a washer or dryer here, maybe those pipes would not be anymore. Well, they were, it was. It was a combo, one on top of the other, and it was in the bathroom. So when it went out of there, what did what they do with the pipes? Don't know. Cap them off. I have no so idea. So the caps are probably busted off the ends of them. Oh. Sure as anything. sure fortune is the insurance is doing this because it would have taken me months and months and months and months to figure out where these things were. You know, I had so much trouble with mold on that ceiling. I kept, I thought it was from the shower. You know, I bet it's from previous leaks up there. Possible. Possible. Because you saw how the tape was all yep. messed up.